Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Pelletier again, and I have a fourth book uh, about finding beauty in our world, and this is called Jamaica Louise James, and that's her right there. And what do you notice about her? She's wearing a little, uh, a little hat, and which we call a beret, and she is holding a paintbrush, and she's holding a paint can. So she is a little bit of an artist, and what we're going to do is read to find out what she has to say about what is beautiful. Look at that. It's a skyline. Lu Jamaica Louise James. I was the one with the cool idea. So look at that. If you have an idea, sometimes it means a light bulb goes off in your head. And she makes this writing, this author. The author is Amy Hest, and the illustrator is Sheila White Sampton. She writes these words really big and then puts an ellipsis, those three dots, dot, dot, dot. That means more. there's more to come. I was the one with the cool idea. It happened last winter, and the mayor put my name on a golden plaque. It's down on the, in the subway station at 86th and Main. You can see it if you go there. That's me. You better believe it. Want to hear my big idea? So, you know, a subway station is underground. People go to catch the train. Most of the time in big cities like in Boston, New York. And she had this great idea. What do you think that the idea is? Think in your brain, predict, and let's see if, as I read, if you're right. Okay, because the plaque is down in the subway station. And it says, Jamaica Louise James, age eight. So at eight years old, she did something. She had a really good idea. I'll tell you, you've got to listen to, the, I'll tell you, but you've got to listen to the whole story, not just a part of it. Mama says my stories go on and on. Whenever I'm just at the beginning of one, she tells me, get to the point, Jamaica, or snap to it, baby. But I like lacing up the details this way and that. So why do you think she says that? I like, what does she mean by I like lacing up the details this way and that? When she tells her stories, that means that she puts every little detail and laces them all together, almost like a shoelace. Puts everything together, but has to give us the full story. Okay, and there's her grandmother and her mother. And look at that. They're, they're making their lunches. Mama, Grammy, and Lo Jamaica Louise James. The story begins with me. I have a big artist pad with 100 big pages and five colored pencils with perfect skinny points. Sometimes I set myself up on the top step of our building where everyone can see me. Everything I see is something I want to draw. So see, this is what she drew at age seven. She drew the pizza palace. She drew hot dog stands. She drew people just getting into, a, and into cars and buses dogs walking in the street, somebody eating a hot dog. So she likes to draw everything that she sees. At night, Mama and Grammy and I cuddle on the couch while the, quiet, while the city quiets down. I show them every picture every night. Sometimes I tell a story as I go. Sometimes they ask a question like, why does the man's coat have, a tri have triangle pockets? Look at that. Other times we don't say a word. So look at their faces, and you can tell just by the way she says, Mama, Grammy, and I cuddle on the couch. Do they have a good relationship? Yeah, I, I, I think they're pretty proud of her, and they're interested in what she's doing. Ma now look at me on birthday number eight. So this is her eighth birthday. Grammy and Mama dance around my bed. Open your present, they shout. We can't wait another minute. Now what they know what they did? They bought me a real paint set with eight little colored tubes of color. And 
two paint brushes. Paint sets cost a lot, I worry. My, my, they say, are you going to spend birthday number eight worrying when you can do when you can be doing something wonderful such as painting the world. So that's when I got my big idea. Now this is kind of interesting because we learned something more about this little girl, this little girl, Jamaica Louise James. When she opens up the paints, she says she worries because she knows paint sets cost a lot of money. I don't think they have a lot of money. And she says, my, my. But they say, don't you worry about it. We saved up and you enjoy. And now we want you to paint the world. So that's when I got my big idea. What do you think her big idea is? We might have a little bit of a clue. Let's see. Now this part of the story tells about my Grammy who leaves for work when it's still dark. See, there's Grammy, she's going to the subway. Sometimes I wake up halfway when she slides out of bed. In winter, she gets all layered, starting with the long underwear layer. So wherever she's going is probably pretty cold because she wears lots of layers of clothes. Okay, like she's got long underwear, then she's probably got her regular clothes, and she's probably got a big coat on too. She and Mama whisper in the kitchen. They drink that strong black coffee. Grandma scoops up her brown lunch bag and goes outside. I'm scared in the night. Not Grammy. At 86th and Main, she goes down and down into the subway station. All day long, people line up at Grammy's token booth. They give her a dollar or four quarters, and she slides a token into their hand. Then they rush off to catch the train. So she works at the subway station. When people go to get on the subway, they have to pay money. So they give her money and she gives them a token. And what you do is they put the, you put the token in a special place and it lets you through to go to the subway. Hmm. Let's see. Keep thinking about what her big idea is, okay? And look at this illustration and let's think about how, what, she, what she's thinking about this subway station. Look at the people's faces. Now I like subways because the seats are hot pink, see? And because they go very fast. But I don't like subway stations, especially the one at 86th and Main. Now if you see here, you can see her grandmother. She's, she's giving people the tokens. There are too many steep steps, 56 and too many grown-ups who all look mad. The walls and the old tile wall, the walls are old tile walls without any color, see? So what does she think about this subway station? Look at all the people's faces, they are not looking happy. I don't think she thinks it's a very fun place and she said there's not a lot of color. So let's think, what do you think her big idea is? When Granny comes home, she sews and talks about the people she sees, like green hat lady or gentleman with the red bow tie. Mama reads and hums, but I paint, blending all those colors until they look just right. Every day I add a picture to my collection and every day I think about my cool idea. Now this page gives us a clue, okay? Grandma gets home, she starts talking about the people she sees. Green hat lady or gentleman with the red bow. What do you notice she's painting over there? A green hat, hmm. So she's adding a picture to her collection every day for her cool idea. What do you think her idea is? I'm not going to say anything. Keep it in your head or whisper it to the person next to you. At last, it's the morning of Grammy's birthday. Mama and I get up early. We get all layered and sneak outside. Mama holds my hand. I am scared, but also very excited. And look at, they put it in all capitals, very excited. We swoosh along in our boots in the dark and the snow. At 86th and Main, we go down and down. 56 steep steps. Look at that. Whoo! 
And I love how the, uh, the writer made, made it almost look like a staircase. You could do that too with your writing. So now they're going to do the surprise. Watch. We don't buy a token at the token booth. We don't take a ride on the subway. What we do is hang a painting on the old tile wall. Then another and another and one more. Before you know it, that station is all filled with color. What are they hanging up? They're hanging up all of her paintings. That was her idea to make it more colorful, right? It wasn't a very beautiful place, but she just added a little bit of color and look at what happens. Let's see what happens. Surprise! We shout when Grammy comes clomping down the steps. She looks all around that station. Jamaica Louise James she calls, come right here so I can give you a big hug, baby. And so she actually paints this picture too. Look at that. So she's made a place that wasn't that beautiful with, very, with her artwork. Now it's very beautiful. But it's beautiful to her grandmother. Let's see how it changes other people. Let's see. So now you know the whole story. Everyone sure is in love with my subway station. You'd be surprised. People are talking to each other. Some even smile. That looks like me, says a lady in a green hat to a gentleman with a bow tie. See? She sees her hat. Remember when she was doing that painting of the green hat? She was listening to Grammy's stories about all the people that Grammy saw, and she was making paintings for them. So now the people recognize themselves. That looks like me, says a lady in a green hat to a gentleman with a red bow tie. Then Grammy tells everyone about Jamaica Louise James, age eight. That's me. You better believe it. Now, do you think she's pretty proud of herself? That's me. You better believe it. Yeah. See? She's like, that's me. That's the plaque, and it's all about me. So she came up with this really cool idea. But I think what's interesting with this is to remember that she worked hard on this, and she planned it, okay? Um, she didn't just throw different paintings up. She listened to those stories. She had a really good idea of what she wanted to do. And she was patient. She took time to do it. And then she said, Mom, this is my plan. This is my big idea. So that's something to think about. We all have really good ideas, but let's take time to plan them um, and make something beautiful. So she used her artistic talent to make a subway station that was not very, very beautiful, beautiful. And because of what she did, look at how the people changed. They went from looking like this, where they were grumpy, everybody's just moving around, they weren't even talking, to this. One simple idea can make such a difference, okay? And I think on this page, um, I'm going to read you the author's note here. It says, Amy Hest, who's the author, loves to write and would love to be able to illustrate. Whenever children ask me why I don't illustrate my books, I draw a dog for them and they say, nice chicken, Mrs. Hest. <laughs> so she's not a very good illustrator, but she said, I would love to be an artist and perhaps that is why I wrote a story about someone who draws. Um, and then this Sheila White Sampton who is the illustrator, she lives in New York City, less than half a block from Amy Hest. We didn't know each other before doing the book, but now we run into each other all of the time. She says it's both a challenge and an enormous pleasure to illustrate a book about someone who draws. It requires envisioning not only the person in her life, but how her character and surroundings would be revealed in her art. And she has two grown sons. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This is another one of my, another one of my favorites. Um, but it is a nice way to see how you can do some very simple things to make our world 
beautiful.